is the straight thing you're seeing right here. Right here. Yeah, yes. You're in an Easter basket because I have nowhere other place to put you guys right now. So, just gonna run. And I know that thumbnail is weird. But yes, I'm gonna be talking about a hamster care guide, I guess. So, let me go get her out first. Still in my pajamas, by the way. person should do um sorry it's taking forever And no, there's nothing in here with her because everything I have. Try seeing her. She's in her food bowl, guys. And she has. Well. She has her bedding in there. Because that's the hamster she is. I don't know how to show her to you. Um. You can kind of see her right there, can't you? She's not pure hamster. She is part mouse as well, added to that. Um I don't know guys. That that's but they told me she's part mouse because of her tail or and stuff. But what you need is you need a food bowl and you do try not to do this because that's just not good for the hamster apparently. But she does it on her own, so mm. It's not nice. You need to have a watering, a watering thing for them. So it's like this, except it has has a lid, and then it come. There's like a little thing that comes out, like this. So yeah. She's right here. I'll see if I can pick her up. She bit my sister before, and I'm a little wary of her. So I don't know how to trust this one. I've never really gotten her out like this. Here she is. There she is. Now you see what she looks like. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. And I'll I try showing you her back. That's her tail. She has a tail. So they say, they say she's part mouse, which I don't understand why they put her in a hamster section instead of the mouse section. But apparently they just did it anyways. Makes complete sense. Uh, apparently they don't get along together, even though, along with the others, even though they were keeping them with each other, 
it didn't make sense, guys. It just really didn't make sense at all to me. But what I'm doing now is I'm going to explain to you what I do. I clean out her cage with her bedding that she likes. Her soft, fluffy bed bedding, like, like this stuff. Um, I get her, I have a small hamster cage for her. I used to have a bigger one, but my hamster, my other hamster, peanut butter, passed away. And this one's named Jelly. I had to finish the trio. I had milkshake. That was really kind. She passed away. Then we had peanut butter. Then now we have Jelly right now, the one that I'm holding in my hand. She, I don't, she just turned a year old, I think, like, in 2018. She just turned a year old, so. Kind of happy for that. Um, I love her. She's cute. She's kind for most of, the, most of the time she's kind. I know you guys aren't even seeing this, but I'm trying to talk to you guys anyways. You know, it's better than nothing. I used to have this one little strawberry hut for her, which I'm going to go put her in right now because yeah, she's a little afraid of me still. Uh, that I keep out of her cage anymore because she just was, she eats it. She's in it right now, but, because I just put her in there, but she literally eats the inside of her hut. Here, I'll show you. This is her little strawberry hut. And then you use, well, I just put you down like, like so, like this. Move this out of the way. Right, here you go. Get the peek into there. You can't really see her in there. But you use these little things to hang her up on. And she, I put it in there and she was stuck. She was just staying in there. Wasn't coming out. It was the first day I had her. And I think the dogs did that. I don't know, guys. But she's, like, in there right now. She eats it. But, it, I mean, it's hers. So, whatever. She eats it. She eats it. It makes her feel safe. So, let's, let's just keep that. At that. She makes her, feel, makes her feel safe. So, you hang it up like this or something. I don't know, guys. It's just... Oops. I messed up there for a minute. For a second. And my phone's on charge, so I can't get it away from there too mm. far. Sorry. Whoa, you're coming out? Oh, calm down. But this is a hamster care video, so let's get keep on going. I wish you guys would actually come on here, though. Makes me feel sad. But you, it's best that you have something for them to do, whether it's just a little thing that's hanging up like this that they can go in and do stuff in, put their bedding in or something, or have a wheel or something for them. Always have food for them because you're not, they're not like a dog. You don't give them time to eat. You always have to have food in there for them, so you always want to have that in there, and I have to go do that. And may, I think I'm, I don't know, maybe I would clean it up and have something they can hide in other than their bedding. I, I took a water bottle, an empty water bottle before, cut the lid off, and took the stuff off of it, and I put it inside there, and she put bed it and put stuff over it. It was like a little burrow, but we had to get rid of it because she just got so cuckoo with that thing. And then have like a little hut you get at the, that, you can do that, that's a DIY that I did for Jelly, and she liked it a lot. I don't know for bigger hamsters like Siberian hamsters or I don't think teddy bear hamsters could do something like that because they're so big and fluffy and stuff. They might be able to, but they probably won't be able to. I'm going to see if you guys like the video down, video down here. Oh gosh. Wait a minute. Stay there, Jelly. Stay right there. I'm putting something right here to try keeping you guys up. My phone used to have something to keep the oh, you're trying to escape. Get back there. Now you can see it better, guys. Can... Well, my hair's a mess. Uh, I can't get this. Oh my god. Oh, I just be so mean. Oh my god. 
Alright, I give up. I just give up. My gosh. I tried doing one simple thing for you guys, and you, this, this is what happens. Alright, back. Better view now. It's right there. And we're slipping into the mic. Really? This thing can't hold anything other than. Chili, say hi. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're going on 10 minutes and not a single one of you guys got down here. But yeah, guys, and you need to get stuff like that for them. You also need to be kind to them and always be. Don't ever show hostility or scare them or anything like that because they will not trust you and they will end up biting you. Especially with the bigger hamster breeds like teddy bears and stuff. I'm not saying that they're mean. I'm just saying that they are a little more aggressive than the smaller ones. And their bites are way worse than a little pinch from what you get from her. Because they will make you bleed. Um... I don't, just don't, like, put anything sense, like, smelly up there beside them, like candles or anything, anything like that can get smoke into their lungs, and they can die from that. Uh, you always want to clean out their cage once every week or two, or two times or to once every week, just to keep their cage clean, especially with the bigger hamsters, because they make a mess out of everything, but, so is she, but she's a little smaller, if you know what I mean. Anyways, and uh, you need to be, you need to get tubes. You can get tubes for them, but some of the bigger hamster breeds get stuck in them because that's just what they do. That that sometimes they're just too fluffy and they get stuck in them. We had to rescue some of our hamsters from that. Yeah, so I know if that ever happened to you, I know how you feel. Um. You can get them to go around the room. I'd just be careful because every because they probably would get disoriented. And do not be screaming around them that much, guys. If you do that, I'm sorry, trying to lean over here. If you do that, though, they will start getting scared of you. And they will not want you holding them. And they will bite you, like I said. Don't do anything like that. Don't do be stupid and put them outside and think they're going to live. Don't, no. And, uh, hamsters are just not good things to feed to snakes, guys. You saw that, right? Her little whiskers. Listen to this. Okay, I'm going to decide to put her back now. But guys, that's what you need to know about hamsters for basic part of it. That's basic. Oh, and my mom, I did, we accidentally did this one, should I say. My mom, because she wouldn't let me clean up any of my hamster cages when I was younger. She used Lysol wipes. Don't do anything like that. Just use a wet paper towel or towel to get stuff out of there and stuff. Or just water or something because that will poison your hamsters. And it's horrible. I know how you feel there. So, all right, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching. Nobody, because that was just mean. Hmm. Bye.